Hey, what's going on? Good morning, guys. All right, I guess I'll leave this plugged in to charge because it's obviously not charging correctly. I'm saying like providing content on their own. Yeah. Oh, hello, Luna. She's got one of her teeth in the back that like broke a small piece off of it that we noticed at the vet yesterday. So um, I'll probably get her some dental work too when I can afford it. But I think, uh, I think she's fine because she still eats with that tooth. It's probably from chewing all those bones outside. So I have a meat grinder. I think I'm gonna start putting her chicken in the meat grinder so she still gets the benefits of eating the bone without having to actually break it with her teeth. Cause now I'm worried that she's gonna fuck up her teeth, you know, but she's fine. I haven't noticed her like only eating in one side of her mouth or anything. Like she generally chews bone anyway. So I don't think it's actually hurting her. It's just like the tip of her tooth in the back is like cracked off. What they say about the lump, they said that they don't wanna do anything. They're that just gonna funny. leave it alone, and I guess they said if it changes size or anything like that to come in, but because it's been the same for years and hasn't gone anywhere, they're like, we don't really wanna put her under just to give her surgery to drain it if it's not a problem. So they said just leave it alone for now. They did give her her rabies shots though, and I got her a tag. Hi. 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 What are you doing? Are you being cute? Mm. Mm. Are you being cute? What do you want? What do you want? You wanna go outside? Alright, hang on. I'm setting this up so we can go out. I'll be back, get some food, hope you stream so long. Alright, I'll see you later. Hang on, brat. Can you wait? I need coffee. Can you wait a minute? Wait. L O L. It will be okay. easy by then. Can you wait. Let me let her out so she can chill. Oh my god! It's so cold out. Are you comfy in the snow? I'm trying to get all the ice off my shoes before I come walking back in. How's the uh, quality and resolution on here? Let's see what it looks like on the screen. It looks pretty clear. Damn. That's pretty good for IRL, right? Like, to have this kind of resolution and quality is pretty fucking amazing if you think about it. Because it wasn't that long ago that we were only able to get really good resolution. Let me try one more thing before I disconnect this camera. I want to see if it kills the stream if I just switch the lens or the battery. Because I don't know if it'll keep streaming or if it's actually going to kill it. Alright, quick disconnect in three, two, one. Okay. Well, that's up close and personal. It's a 50 mil, so it's a prime lens. I can't zoom out. So the only thing I can do is like sit back. Hopefully it's still connected. Oh, it worked. It didn't kill the stream. Nice. All right, let me put the other one back and then I'm gonna try switching battery. Um, I'm not seeing it. Survived, but it reset my settings. So now you can see all my settings again. That's weird. At least it survived. All right, let me switch it again. 
Yeah, the on-screen display came back on. I don't know why. I would think that it would save those settings, but I guess not. I don't know. I'll play with this stuff later. I'm happy with the way it looks, though. If I mount, like, a camera mount to the dashboard of the van, I could always put, like, this camera up there on one of those GoPro mounts. It would actually hold it, so it'd be... Like, really good resolution. Does it have a CMOS battery if it's supposed to have one and doesn't he at one T save settings while changing batteries? Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't know if it does. It's a Lumix GH5S. Uh, so, you can check if you want. Can't remember only worked with the GH4 and that was a few years ago. Ooh, wait, I think... I'd like think... to think my PP makes a difference. I think I know why Luna Refresh was freaking out. Now. You know how Luna keeps smacking me? I think I know why she's smacking me. Let me go check if I'm right. It's here. Look, I got the Embark test for her, the DNA test. It just arrived. I guess she must have seen the male person at, by the door. That's probably why she kept smacking me to go outside. And that is the new table that's supposed to go with this chair that they sent me. So do you guys want me to open that up now or should I just go out to work on the van? I guess let me... Oh, shahaya. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's change the title to Live Unboxing. I must be unboxing. really tired to process the box sliding into the screen. <laughs> open it. Kick ass box LOLO. Yeah, so they, they just came out with like a new... What they said. A new desk. And they wanted to Good send morning. it to me to check it out and see whether or not I actually liked it. They didn't tell me that I had to say anything special about it. You know, they're not like sponsoring me by actually paying me, but they did give it to me for free. So full disclosure on that. So I'm going to open it up now and we're going to see what it actually looks like and how I like it. And if it's, uh, it's, if it's made out of good materials and everything else, and then maybe I'll bring it upstairs into the, uh, into my craft room and use it up there. All right, okay. so let's see what's in it. Hello, Kristen. Here, I'll put some music on and stuff while I open it up. And we'll do this unboxing. Excited to see this. I should probably use a real box cutter. If you guys want to check out this desk that I got, let me give you guys the link to it. Which I'll actually just give you my Amazon affiliate link for it. And I'll put the link in the video once I edit it. So anybody else who might be interested in one can at least check it out. There we go. That's the link. HTTPS Amazon 2SAYFK3. HTTPS AMS to 2SAYFK3. There's a kitty in the box. Is this to keep it from getting scratched That's awesome, up? Kristen. Or is it just a free scarf for me to wear? How do I look? How's my new scarf, guys? How's my new scarf? Is it a cute scarf? I really love this scarf. It's such a pretty scarf. So fondly of I just sat through a four minutes ad of them singing and dancing. Definitely a free scarf. Two in one use. You look fabulous, LOL. Gosh, my stomach hurts from laughing. X. says the god of war Ficmax professional gamer series oh there's a cable here does that mean they have rgb lighting there's one on this side too i always forget to charge my table the paint is a little messed up there i don't know what that's all Rabbit about cupcake usually for closed houses it looks like they didn't fully spray this section the quality so far, well, it's a, it, that's all like hard steel or metal, so. It's
It's gonna be a heavy desk, that's for sure. Keep that scarf for when I come back over for the Shaturbate stream. All right. Is that a it confirmation? Looks like a sturdy table. Are we doing a real Chatterbait stream? I like the size of the the tabletop. It's definitely roomy, a roomy desk. All right, this must be all the hardware. What is Chaturbait LOL? There's the instructions for how to put it all together. See, it says insert LED power cord, so I guess it's all RGB. I put worse. LMAO. That is Mina. It's got these Chihiro plastic. Is where I get my food recipes. These plastic parts for the uh, corners and stuff also has wires and LEDs through it, so these light up, it looks like, because that's where the LEDs are. L -O -L -E -T. There's another one there. L -M -A -O -E -T 25 trivia. So, I guess this is gonna light up. It came with Whatever a warranty do, policy. Go to Google. These are for the cable holes. Oh look, they even sent a screwdriver. Usually they only send those really cheap um, Allen keys that have the screwdriver on the end, but I'm impressed that they actually sent like a real legit screwdriver with it. Even though I already have a whole bunch of them, I don't need an extra one. Oh look, and here's a, a mat that they sent for the mouse. It's like a mouse pad. I've been wanting one of these longer ones anyway, because the one that I use on my desk is this. So I've been wanting to get a new one that's actually larger. It won't fit on this desk, but it'll definitely fit on this new one. Oh, this must be the part that goes on the back. I love the light up affect. It's like a piece of fake leather. That has a pretty nice mat. And it's got Velcro on the back, so you can attach it around the, the beams like this. So it like closes up with Velcro. He's in the other box, look. why I'm saying it doesn't seem right is because this LED it's like it's gonna get crushed if I put it on here I don't know I'll... this doesn't seem right should I put the logo facing me or facing the back because if it's facing the back and it's against the wall no one's ever gonna see it anyway but it looks kind of nice so I should probably just put it down facing me right this doesn't seem right because the cable has no place to go without getting crushed. I'm trying to figure out the best way to put these wires so they don't get crushed. I guess once I tap it all in, I can uh, I can probably just tape it so it doesn't go anywhere. Here, I'll show you what I'm confused about. Falk, are you micromanaging me? Okay, so. The first thing that's confusing hello, me... Hello, hello, no, they sent you the wrong directions. No, it's just, you know, they're just not... Hello, Como Estes. I, I like to overthink things too much, so that's why I end up getting myself in these binds, because I overthink it. But check this out. So, here's the top arm, right? And the hole for where the cable comes out is on the, on the front side. So, basically, I would be sitting here, and I would be looking this Elgary way. Elgary says you're doing it wrong, LOLXD. And... Is the middle bar the wrong way around? Should the wires be going to the back or the front of the table? Right, that's what I'm confused about. See, so this is going towards the front of the table now. The wires are coming out, which means I would ha I would see the hole when I'm sitting down. So I thought maybe it's supposed to go the other way so that the wires are coming out of the back so that you're not accidentally pulling on them. 
And maybe this is just a design flaw for now, and maybe they'll fix it in the future. But you see the top part of this bar here, how it's flat? If I flip this upside down so that the wire's coming out of the back, it'll work. But this flat part will be on the bottom instead of the top. And I'm assuming that it's supposed to be on the top for extra support on the actual table part that goes up here, that, that part back there. So if I flip this upside down, it's not gonna have the correct support because there's no flat side on the bottom of it. There's, there's only a flat side on the top. So the wire would make sense if it came out the back, but for some reason the holes are drilled in the front. And the instructions here, the, the desk isn't the exact shape as the real desk is, so it's kind of hard to see where the, the, like there's no, like in the picture here, there's no hole that shows the wires coming out of the front. And there's no, there's no anything that shows the wires coming out from the back either. The only thing that it says about the wires is right here. And it says the wire head, which is in the plastic shell needs to be inward so that it will not be worn down. I don't know what that means. It's inward to what? Cause when you put it in the hole, it's still not right. That's what she said. I wish it came in green. Yeah, it'd probably look cool in green and black, right? I'm not gonna push these all the way in yet. These are like the, the covers here for the wires where the wires, wires go through for your computer. I'll push them all the way down later, but I just wanna make sure I get the other pieces all on right before I lock anything in. It's a nice desk though. Let's see how sturdy it is. We'll, we'll do the stand-up test. See if we can handle me standing on it. Yeah. Seems to be fine. It does. I don't know where it still lives, so I don't know what died. And I'm shaking, and it's not really rocking a lot. It's it's a really sturdy desk, though. It's, I mean, it's made out of like cheaper materials, but not to the point where it's gonna like fall apart. Like I can sit on it, and there's enough support to not let me like fall or break it. Then again, I only weigh like 120 now, so it's probably not enough weight to break it. So little LOL. I, I know these pieces will be fine because there's no other place to a put them. A little wobbly though. It's actually not wobbly. I was wobbling on it to see if I can make it move, but it's pretty sturdy. Like, it's not really that wobbly. And I don't even have all the bolts screwed LOL all the way in yet. Bouncing. Okay, so I'm gonna assume since these are self-tapping screws that I'm supposed to actually make the holes myself. If not, then I'm about to mess up the table. I guess you have the option to not put these on and then you won't have a bunch of extra holes if you don't want these plastic things on, but I'm gonna go ahead and put all of them on because I, I want the desk to look how it's supposed to look. Valkyrie says this is acceptable. The hot glue came off already on this side. So I'm gonna have to hot glue it back up. Yeah, they, they really need to do a better job of how these wires are put in here because they're kind of not really put on very well and they just kind of dangle around in here. So I feel like this is kind of, yeah, see this already came off. It's not even glued on properly. They definitely need to have some better quality control on the LEDs, especially for, you know, almost $150 desk. All right, I got it back on. I mean, it, it works, it fits. I just don't like how uh, it's not really that secure. All right, let's try this one without ripping out any of the wires by accident. This one actually seems to fit a little bit better. Let's try this out. I gotta move all this trash. Oh, they're blue lights. They should have been red lights with the red desk. Can you see them? The LEDs are blue though. I wonder if they change. No, they don't. I don't think they do because I think they're just blue. They're not RGB. The side is also glowing, 
blue on here. I don't know if you guys can really see it on that. That SK, red light is better. I have red LEDs. I can replace these myself. So maybe I'll do that and I'll do a video about it. WTF, can you change the lights? Yeah, uh, you can pull the LEDs out because they're only hot glued blue. in. So I can just pull the hot glue off and put my own LEDs and then re-hot glue it. They don't change color. So, no, they don't yeah. change color. They're just, it's just a USB on and off cable. There's no thing to change. And the LEDs are not RGB, they're just okay, blue. Then. But I can probably the put LEDs ones that- not being red is a letdown though. That is a letdown. I'll let them know. Uh, Cause this, these are new desks that they just made. So I'm gonna give them my opinion nice. on it. And I'll let them know that uh, once I change the red LEDs, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. And uh, maybe I'll make that suggestion to them. There's a kitty on my chair though. Excuse me, Falcor. Can I sit here? This is actually perfect height to go with their chair. Let me go as low as I can go in this chair. Sorry, Falcor. Go ahead. So see how high it is when I have my chair yep. all the way down? It's actually uncomfortable. I should, I actually need to come up higher. This is as high as the chair goes and it still doesn't hit the handles. Yeah, the handles come right up to the desk if you pull them all the way up. That, that actually works because it's the same height as the desk. So when you put your arms down on the side, it actually fits. Let me go get my laptop. All right, so just to kind of give you a size comparison, this oh, is a 19 inch monitor widescreen. Then I got my laptop here. So I guess I could technically do this. I can fit perfectly here to go and type and it keeps my arms up. They left this opening here on the side so you can like run all your wires. And then you also got this that you can run your wires through. So I could essentially just, let's see if I can pull this through here. Yeah, USB fits in there, so I could essentially just put that, or it comes off, these two pieces. So if you have like a bunch of cables, it'll still fit through. All right, let's get a side view of the table so you guys can see what it looks like. It's not like one of those little dinky computer desks that actually fits stuff on it. This is me working. Oh wait, I should probably have the monitors on, right? We want you to attempt five minute craft crafts hacks. Fuck out of here. We don't need none of this shit. Oh, that's cool. There's a refresh rate on the lighting on the keyboard. I didn't know that. It's blink. It looks like it's strobing, but it's actually not. I agree. Good arm to table height. Yeah, I do like it in Viper Green. Does it have enough room for food for when you eat while you computer and whatnot? I think so. Yeah, so this table comes in red. I missed that part gray and black the black and the gray look the same on the pictures though maybe they haven't gotten a picture of their gray desk yet i'll suggest to them that you guys wanted a green one i'm gonna suggest the leds and what else should i tell them auto blow attachment needed all right i'll tell them that maybe they could just put it like right here on the bottom so that you can like hip thrust your desk anytime leds green maybe make it able to be raised like a higher option. Yeah, the, the option that makes it like go up and down, maybe they should pull it motorized it. In order to do that, they would have to redesign the whole desk though. So they'd probably have to make like another version of it if they were gonna make it so that it raised up and down. I kind of like it at this height Hello, to be man. honest. Uh, it would be nice to have a desk that raises. I know a lot of people like having like their desk be able, like to be a stand up desk so you can actually Not work standing up. I don't know, I kind of like this table the way it is. Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put this inside of my bedroom and I wanna see how it looks real quick. It actually fits really good on that wall. Here, I'll turn on my other camera so I can show you guys. Yeah, check it out. Like, it actually fits in here fine. Um, Cause it's about the same size as this wall here. I guess I could put it in the corner too. I don't know if I want it in the in the corner like that. It's gonna be weird because the, then my chair is gonna be in front of that door blocking it. So I figure it's probably better to just put it in the center by that plug. You like it up there? Is that your new lay spot? So you can lay down on my mouse pad and get your fur all over it. Yeah, it does match the room though, right? The whole room is red and black, so I guess this table would be perfect for it. I like it though, it looks really nice.
Hey guys, here's the Remax desk that you guys just watched me unbox. Kind of like it. I turned it around in my room. I used to have it up against the wall when I first set it up uh, so that it was going this way. I turned it around so that I can actually watch my TV while I'm working on stuff here. So it's kind of cool. I do like the desk. There was just a couple things that I did mention to the company about when I was building the desk. Like for example, I didn't like the fact that the lights were blue and everything else was red and black. I mean, it does look kind of cool. I don't hate it, but I thought maybe it would be cool if it was like a red LED instead but they did tell me that they just weren't able to find the right LED. I think the red LEDs that they were trying out were probably not bright enough and it probably looked bad. That's just what I'm assuming though. However, the mouse that I've been using, which is the Razer mouse, actually has a blue light on it, so it even matches anyway. I did have the Apple mouse, like this thing here that you guys have probably seen, but this mouse really sucks. I was starting to get carpal tunnel using it and it was just hurting my wrists really bad. Uh, as you can see, Falcor already stole my chair. I always have to kick him off my chair before I come edit videos and stuff. I guess that's his comfy spot. It is actually a comfortable chair though, as you guys have already seen in my previous video about it. But I thought it was kind of cool that they just reached out to me and they were kind of like, hey, I want you to try out you know, one of our desks and you can tell us what you like about it, what you don't like. And they didn't even say I had to do a review about it or anything like that but I just decided to go ahead and make a video just to show you guys. I already did the unboxing live on my channel, but I wanted to kind of just show you guys to see if maybe there was somebody else who was interested in something like this, you know? Then you guys know that it's actually pretty decent quality. It looks nice. I don't know, I it's a desk, so I don't really have many bad things to say about it. it, it it's not easily ruined yet. I've had it for about two weeks. I haven't really scratched it up or anything like that. So if there's any specific questions you guys want to know about it, just let me know. So the company did tell me that they were going to give me a coupon code in case you guys wanted to save on the same desk. I don't have it yet. It might just be the same code that we were using before, the DRO. I'll put it down in the description of the video as soon as I know exactly what it is. I just want to be sure so you guys aren't putting in the wrong thing. As you can see, I moved my mic up here so that I can actually do a couple voiceovers on some videos. I've been working on. I moved my JBL speaker up here because uh, this is my Apple laptop. It's a MacBook Pro that's running on a monitor. Uh, I got a headphone here because this monitor had a little headphone stand so I just brought my Bluetooth wireless ones up here since the MacBook Pro does already have Bluetooth in it. So I figured I could just use those whenever I need to have headphones on and I can always just charge it here. I brought up my old Ultra USB hub. It's kind of crappy. If the power wire moves a certain way, it ends up pulling power from it. It doesn't really work. I did order another one of a different brand that I'm getting in. One that actually has powered USB slots that are way better. This is actually USB 2.0. So it's not even like the fastest speed when I try to transfer things. So I'll probably move that. I have my laptop back here as you can see and the speakers are now covered by the screen since the screen is closed so it sounds really bad when you're playing anything with audio and I don't have any speakers here. Uh, I guess there's not really that much space for a speaker system. Definitely not like I have downstairs on my streaming desk so maybe I can get those like little desk Logitech speakers or I'm gonna go through. I have like an old wired surround sound system that I don't really use anymore so I might put the speakers for those up here. You can always put the subwoofer down there. I tried to do a little bit of wire management. I mean, you know, like I plugged a couple of the wires through. I do definitely need to get some cable ties and tie all the stuff up, but I don't want to do that until I actually get the other USB hub. That way I can make sure I put the wires all correctly exactly how they're going to be and I don't have to worry about cutting zip ties or anything like that. So for now, um, I don't know, this is it, this is the desk. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the unboxing video of it, me putting it together. And whenever I get new stuff like this that I think you guys might be interested in, I'll go ahead and do like a little quick review on it and maybe in an unboxing video on my live streams or something like that. So if any of you guys own this desk or have seen this desk and you were looking at it, wondering if you should get it, um, I think if you just need a small desk that doesn't take up a lot of room and fits these specs, then definitely. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. It doesn't have as much room as I'm used to having on my bigger desk. I actually just needed a nice little setup that I can use with my laptop, but my laptop screen is kind of small, so when I'm editing video and stuff, I kind of wanted to have a bigger screen, and that's why I moved my, my newer screen up here that I just bought right before Christmas. This screen definitely helps me edit a lot better, considering that I'm not straining my eyes the whole time while I'm sitting there trying to do stuff. This is actually one of Samsung's gaming monitors. I'll do a video about this later on too, so I can explain more about this. If you guys are even interested in knowing about this monitor, it's one of the first times I actually spent 
money on a good monitor, so I'm enjoying having it. And it's a curved monitor too, which I thought I was gonna hate, but I actually kind of dig it. For this desk, I would probably go with something a little bit smaller though, like this is a 27 inch. If I had to do it again, I'd probably get like a 24 inch or something. Cause I mean, I don't really need that huge of a screen. So it would be okay for me to just edit with like a 24 inch or something. But the laptop screens, I believe is like a 15 inch. So not big enough for me to do, you know, any kind of graphic work or editing video or anything for long periods of time. So yeah, this desk, I definitely like it. It's kind of cool. It looks nice in my room. It matches everything. Cause my whole room's painted red and black anyway. So kind of worked out. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next one.